uh, get reaction to uh, all of these things that uh, Donald Trump has been saying in the last 24 hours. Let's speak to Dr. Zainab Chowdhury, spokeswoman for the Council on American Islamic Relations, uh, who is in Washington. Thank you so much for being with us. I was just reading out uh, the quotes from yesterday, the quotes from Donald Trump today. What is your reaction to what you've heard from the Republican candidate? Well, first of all, let me just thank you for having me on and to express my heartfelt condolences to the victims and the families of the horrific attack that took place on Sunday morning in Orlando uh, that claimed the lives of 50 innocent people and injured countless others. My organization, Council on American Islamic Relations, extends our heartfelt condolences to all of those affected and to the LGBTQ community. Um, in, in the hours since the attack, we've urged uh, elected officials and Muslim community members and just the broader public to focus on uh, providing support to the victims and their families and to not engage in divisive rhetoric um, that further perpetuates hatred and bigotry and intolerance in our society. So, so We're that's, especially the, calling... that's, that's the advice that you have put out. Uh, let me just read you exactly the, the two quotes that Donald Trump has said uh, today. Uh, people that know him, they don't report them. For some reason, the Muslim community does not re report people like this. We have to look at the mosques, we have to look at the community, and believe me, the community knows the people that have the potential to blow up. It's not surprising that this would come from Mr. Trump, but it's very disappointing that any elected official or candidate running for public office would exploit this kind of tragedy to perpetuate a rhetoric that further inflames hostility and tensions, um, especially in a time like this when the LGBT community especially is recovering in the aftermath. They're re still reeling. It's a shock to uh, everybody, and American Muslims are still, uh, you know, trying to process what happened. And to have an individual who is running for the highest office in the land uh, to make these kind of reckless inflammatory comments is very irresponsible. You, and you, again, you we're calling them... You describe them as in inflammatory. Do you not accept that somewhere in what he has said, perhaps not the exact language, there is somewhat of a truth that people, all people, need to do more to be vigilant and to report anything that concerns them? Absolutely, and I think that that's something that we have to work on as a society. Um, I think that it's important to point out that no one faith uh, promotes or condones this kind of horrific, tragic attack that took place. And it, we, we need to be careful not to paint the entire community with the same brush as one individual who perpetrated this horrific attack. Uh, this was an outlaw, a criminal, who did not whose actions did not represent the teachings of the religion of Islam that's practiced by over 1.5 billion people. But we all need to work together collectively as a society to tackle issues like gun violence and to tackle issues like making sure that our communities are safer for all marginalized groups, especially um, the LGBTQ community, community and the Muslim community um, and African Americans and Latino Americans and uh, communities that specifically have been marginalized in the United States. But when you hear quotes that I just read out to you uh, as a Muslim does the Muslim community feel uh, under threat political threat the incidence of Islamophobia has spiked to alarming alarming levels it's a really unprecedented here in the United States to see the level of anti-Muslim bigotry that we're seeing uh, in this election season but again our focus right now is to make sure that the community that's impacted in Orlando and the LGBTQ community knows that we're standing strongly in solidarity with them. And we'll, we'll focus on this kind of rhetoric at a later time when the community has time to process the events that have happened and we can focus on recovery efforts. Uh, currently, we have Muslims who are engaging in uh, holding blood drives to encourage Muslims to donate blood. Um, we're raising money. Over $30,000 were raised in the first several hours after this horrific attack took place. And so we want to focus on the positives um, and show people who are coming forward who are saying that we're not going to tolerate this kind of uh, negative, you know, negative uh, bigotry and fear-mongering and hate crimes in our midst and silently uh, sit by and let that happen. And when you hear him demand of other politicians, they, they use this phrase radical Islam, what are your thoughts on that and the merits uh, or otherwise of the argument he is putting forward? Look, we know that in every faith community, there are, in, a, in no faith community, and people who don't have, subscribe, to, subscribe to any specific faith, uh, there are individuals who uh, commit horrific attacks. Um, and to somehow paint Islam as being more, uh, you know, culpable of 
cultivating these kind of extremists or terrorists is just factually incorrect. Uh, we know that individuals who perpetuate these kind of heinous attacks, they're often motivated by their own psychoses and their own circumstances or their own ideologies uh, that don't reflect the teachings of their religion. It's unfortunate um, that religion is often scapegoated um, and faith communities are often scapegoated. But right now our focus is really on the community that was uh, the LGBT community in Orlando that was impacted um, and in recovery efforts and making sure that they know that we're there to stand in solidarity with them. And uh, this kind of rhetoric from individuals who are politicians or running for public office uh, are inflammatory and reckless and we're irresponsible. Um, unfortunately, it's not surprising, but it's something that we have to work together as a community, as a society, uh, to make sure that we don't allow the forces of bigotry and fear-mongering and hatred and intolerance to continue to create division amongst us. This is okay. a time that we must stand united. Zainab Chowdhury, thank you so much for being with us here on the programme. Thank you.